everyone. Welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Had some really nice weather this past week. So Doug has his sawmill, which is a wood miser, and he got it out because he's going to get ready to do some cutting of wood for me for my um, strawberry stands. We need 16 of them. So you probably noticed all the logs he has piled up everywhere. So that's what he's going to be using. And all those logs are from the farm here. So it's kind of nice that we can reuse our resources and put them to good use. So today's video we're going to do an update. Now that the days are getting longer, things are growing a lot faster, so it's exciting to see how well everything's doing. And as you can see from the beto buckets here, I got some tomatoes to get in them. The other day, Doug dropped down two bobbins to each one of my beto buckets with the green beans. And I was looking at it this morning thinking, I think they might need one more string, because there is six plants in each one. So I went ahead and dropped down one more, and starting to get them trained. And you can see how they're really twirling around each of the strings. This guy here is really getting big. It's kind of cool to watch him grow and watch him just climb up the string. And in another couple weeks, I should have some fresh green beans. Again, this type is Vortex that I grow. It's a longer bean and it's really sweet. Half the time, I just um, crunch them up or um, break them up and put them in my salads or eat them raw. So this week's harvest for my food shed is a red tatsai and it's called Red Cloud is the cultivar name. It's been in the channels here, I think, for five weeks. I seeded it seven weeks ago. In wintertime, it takes a little longer to grow because in the summertime, this will be full size in like 21 days. But it's nice and bright red, and it's easy to harvest, so I think I'm going to get at it. So the red tatsoi is really easy to harvest for me. See, there's hardly any bad leaves on the bottom. So I just get put it in the bag, and it goes quite quick. As you can see, I've got most of it harvested already. I just got five more boxes to do and I'll be done. And then Doug can go off and make the delivery for me. So i show you something interesting. This is my spinach. This is the cultivar Corvair, which I really like to grow. It does have a little bit of thicker leaf, and it's one of my favorites. And you see how well it's doing in here. It's been a little bit warm in the greenhouse, and it's still not bolting. Now over here, I have an arrowhead spinach. I forget the cultivar name, but it's a little bit thinner leaf, and it's more prone to bolting, and you can see it's already going to bolt. So I'm going to pull this here this week and get these all put up for the summertime so when we make smoothies we can add fresh spinach. Well look at the kohlrabi, it really took off. I'm really surprised, I have no idea what to do with it. I've never eaten it, so if you guys have any suggestions on what I need to do, how to cook it, do you eat it raw, what do you do, just let me know. So look at, see how well the tarragon's growing, a lot faster than I thought. And then you got the leeks, they're a little bit slower than I thought, but they're coming along. So this is the red Swiss chard I was trialing. I kind of let it go a little bit long, it needs to be harvested. I'm really happy with the colors and how nice and big the leaves are. Look how pretty this cabbage is turning out. This is the red Chinese cabbage I'm trialing. I think it's called Miss Hung. Got the seeds from Johnny's Seeds. It's starting to form ahead, so it would be interesting to see what it does in another week or so. So I'm growing some collard greens here for us because I read a uh, recipe that you can use the leaves for um, sandwiches. Instead of using lettuce, you use the collard leaves and it doesn't break and it makes a much better wrap. Dev and I were talking that maybe we could make some uh, tacos out of them. So notice the tomatoes weren't growing as nicely as usual. So I think I had my EC a little bit too high, so we dialed it down and all of a sudden they just took off. So here's the new readings we have for the EC and the pH. So we lowered it down from 2.3 to between 1.7 and 1.8, and then lowered down the pH to the 5.8 that I run the lettuce crop on. Broccoli and the cauliflower in the grow bags, they're starting to take off. Luckily, I'm remembering to water them twice a day. As you can see, I'm still not done washing the beto buckets, but I'll get that when it starts raining tomorrow. So once we get the beto buckets done and Doug finishes the install and the lights, which will be coming up here really shortly, he's gonna finish painting this little area of my concrete. So I thought I'd show you guys my project for next week. Since it's getting warmer out and you can see the vent wall here is open, I'm going to be painting all of the wood back here because it does get really wet when the pad, pads are in the wet wall. And I have to get some more of the calcium out and I've just been working back here getting everything cleaned up and I got to finish cleaning up the return pipe for the wet wall and we should be ready to go. 
So I got my cucumbers growing here. I thought I'd try all this one. It's called a tachi, I think it is. It's a white Asian cucumber. So it's kind of cool looking. I'm anxious to pick it today and taste it. And now that the days are finally getting warmer and the nights aren't as cold, the cucumber plants are starting to take off a little bit better because they were kind of stunted there for a little bit because they don't like the cold nights. So I've been cleaning my strawberry buckets from last year. They kind of got stained and everything. So I had a comment from one of our viewers, or a suggestion I should say, about soaking the buckets in uh, bleach water overnight. And boy, what a difference and how much easier it is to clean them. So I think this is my new go-to method. So these are the uh, strawberry stones that Doug has to make for me. That's why he got the wood miser out to his sawmill. I need 16 more of these because I bought 100 more buckets. So that'll give me 200 buckets total. Half are going to be white and half are going to be black. So that should be interesting to see if there's any difference. He's got all the piping here ready to go and he's going to put the pipe straps on and I'll get the buckets up because next week I have a thousand strawberry plants coming. So each bucket is going to get five plants in it. So the strawberry plants I ordered are Albion. They're an ever-bearing plant. I grew them last year and I was able to get strawberries off of them all the way through September, October. So they did really well here in the greenhouse. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Again, it was fun to do. I enjoy my greenhouse. So leave me any questions, comments, or suggestions down below. And we'll see you guys next time.